everybody. This week's Parsha, Parshat Bo, begins with the Pasuk, Vayomer Hashem El Moshe, Bo El Paro, Ki Ani Hichbaditi At Libo, Ve'at Leva Vadav, Laman Shiti, Ototai, Ela Bikirbo. So Rashi comes and explains the, the words, Vayomer Hashem El Moshe, Bo El Paro. Why does it say Bo? Why didn't it just say Lech El Paro, go to Paro? It says Bo El Paro because Bo, it wouldn't be fair for, for Hashem to bring down all these Makot uh, Amisraim without giving Paro a, Paro a fair warning. And uh, so he sends Moshe to warn him. I, I, in last week's Parsha, Parsha Ba'era, we find that, um, that the, the words uh, paro et libo, that Paro's hardened his own heart. So uh, the question is, why, why would Hashem send Moshe to go speak to Paro if, if, if Paro's heart was already hardened? He, 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 why would Hashem send Moshe on a mission that, that, clear, that, that wouldn't be successful? It's like a suicide mission. How could Moshe convince Paro if, if Hashem was already hardening his heart? So in, in this week's Parsha, after, after we already have um, Makat Barad, hail coming down on Mitzrayim, it's cra- craziness. Be- Bedlam and Mitzrayim, and Paro still is so stubborn, he won't let B'nai Israel go. Moshe comes to him, and the Pasuk says, Vayichabed Hashem et Lev Paro, that Hashem hardened Lev Paro. So what do we learn from this? That in life, it's not just it's not just that Hashem is, has, has our path set in stone. We, we put ourselves on a certain path. Vayichabed paro et lev shelo. He hardened his own heart. And then, and then once we're already on the path, Hashem will help us in where we want to go. Whether it, be, whether it be the right path, the path of tshuva and Torah, or the path of, uh, of Averro, like paro is on. So, so in life, we should remember that that whatever we want, we should we should strive for it on our own, and that in that through our amuna, Hashem will help us get there. Thank you. Shabbat shalom.